Welcome to Super Great Kids Stories. Fun tales to make you laugh and cry with some of the best storytellers from around the world. Recommended for ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. This week's story is Odon the Giant and it comes from the Philippines and it's told by me, Kim. But first, I'd just like to say a very big thanks to Ashley Rose, Wit, and Anna in California for supporting us on Kofi. You brightened up our grey London January with a little bit of California sunshine. Lots of you have been sending kind reviews and messages of support. Greg from Texas says his nephews, Kirill and Alexander, are really enjoying our stories. And another listener wrote to say they were feeling really sick, but listening to Super Great Kids stories made them better. Wow. Thank you all. If you'd like to support Super Great Kids stories with a regular subscription, you'll be able to access all our stories without the adverts. Visit our Kofi page. That's K-O-F-I at kofi.com forward slash Super Great Kids stories. Now... This is a story from the Philippines in Southeast Asia. It's about a little yellow sunbird and her four tiny friends. And do you know what they do? They try to trick a giant. Do you think that's a brave idea or is it a silly idea? Well, why don't you have a listen and find out? Oh, and do join in with all the sounds especially the galumphing and the stomping. Galump, stomp, galump, stomp, galump, stomp. Can you do that? Ready? Mouth open. Story, jump, out. Once, long ago, there lived a giant. Once, long ago, there lived a green-eyed giant called Odon who had flaming red hair and huge feet. Odon loved to crush and stomp on anyone who was smaller than him, which was just about everyone. Galumph stomp, galumph stomp, galumph stomp. The people and the animals tried and tried to think of a way of getting rid of Odon. He stepped on my nest, said the mouse. He stepped on my brother, said the frog but nobody could stop such a huge giant from stomping wherever he liked. And every day he'd come down and squash more people and more animals. Galump, stomp, galump, stomp, galump, stomp. One day, a little yellow sunbird came up with a plan. Ding! She announced that with four of the smallest creatures to help her, she could beat Odon the giant. You? All the other animals said, A titchy, teeny little sunbird beat Odon the giant. Ha ha, this'll be funny. But the little yellow bird took no notice. And asked a mosquito, a bedbug, a crab and a snake to go with her to face the giant. And they all agreed to help. The five of them set out in a coconut shell and paddled up the river to Odon's tall house. They went along and they went along and they went along and they arrived just as the sun was going down. Ready? Shine, 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 shine. Odon was not at home. He was still out, stamping and stomping and galumphing on all creatures great and small. So the little bird and the mosquito and the bed bug and the crab and the snake hopped and buzzed and hovered and scuttled and slithered up the bamboo ladder and into Odon's tall, tall house. Once they were inside, the bed bug got into the giant's bed. The mosquito sat on the back of his chair. The crab got into the sink and the snake curled up next to the door. 
And the little sunbirds sat down in the ashes next to the fireplace. And they waited. And they waited. And they waited. Until it got really, really dark. Soon they heard the giant coming home. Gurlumph, 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 gurlumph. Then they heard him climbing the ladder to the house. Stomp, 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 stomp. Next, he walked inside and sank with a sigh into his rocking chair and began to rock. But no sooner had he sat down than the mosquito began to fly around his head. He whistled in one ear and he whistled into the other. Odon tried to slap the mosquito but only succeeded in slapping his own head. Ow! Do you think Odon was happy? Too right. He was very cross. He shouted as he jumped out of his chair and into his bed. Yow, yow, yow! Who's biting me? roared Odon. The bedbugs started biting and biting. <coughs> Odon scratched and scratched and scratched. He scratched his legs, he scratched his neck, he scratched his arms, he scratched his head, and he scratched his flaming red hair, but the bedbug kept on biting. <coughs> and the giant started hitting himself again. Ow, 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 ow! Odon ran across the room to the fireplace to get a burning ember to light the lamp so he could see what sort of a monster was attacking him. Gurlumph, 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 gurlumph. But as he bent down to look into the fireplace, the little bird who was hiding in the ashes started to flap her wings. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And she blew hot ashes into the giant's eyes. <gasps> the giant was furious. Ah! He ran to the sink and plunged his face into the water to cool his eyes. And who was hiding in the sink? That's right, the crab who promptly bit his lip. Crack! Help, 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 shouted the giant. My house is haunted by monsters. As Odon ran screaming towards the door, the snake stretched out and neatly tripped him up. Ooh! Bang! He went up and he came down with such a thud the villagers thought it was an earthquake. And as for Odon, he ran as fast as he could into the forest and as far as I know, he is still running now. Running, 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 running. Gollum, 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 gollum. And that is the end of that story. Mouth open, story, jump, back, in. Thanks for listening. I'd particularly like to thank all our followers in Dallas. Storytellers of the world unite. If you'd like to support our podcast, then head over to ko-fi.com forward slash super great kids stories. And if you like drawing, we'd love to see your super great pictures on Instagram. Tag us at Super Great Kids Stories. And finally, if you want to tell us about your favourite story, go to our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Super Great Kids Stories or our website, supergreatkidsstories.com. We'd love to hear from you. And remember to like, subscribe, follow and review us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts.